Okay, so today uh, in the uh, little mini series I'm doing on small businesses in Cha'am, restaurants, cafes, bars, entertainment venues, and hotels, etc., I'm going to do my shop today. So we're at the Billabong Aussie Diner. There it is, there. And we've got um, Rob here, an American friend. And sorry, what's your name again, brother? Oh, Sean, sorry. Sean. I wonder what you're doing here. No, I'm just shooting some here? video. So this is the Billabong Aussie Diner. Uh, some of you may know me from back home. And you may know Paul Haggard. You see, I've got a Paul Haggard painting hanging in the shop. I think that was that uh, Scott's head, I'm not 100% sure. Got a uh, Bill Ferguson, William Ferguson photo taken up in uh, Yarramalong. Exceptional photo, doesn't show up very good on video. Yeah, so this is the Billabong Aussie Diner. Do a lot of takeaway to the bars, get a lot of orders from the bars. We've got seating for you know, eight people here, 10, 11, 12, seating for 12 people in the shop. It's a bit of a storage space here that's gonna get cleaned up eventually. Our beer fridge needs to be restocked. Counter, uh, more storage here. Glasses, etc. cups, cutlery, some eggs there, there's the freezer. Got the freezer uh, going, uses a lot of electricity. Keep a lot of stuff in here. Fridge also have a lot of stuff in here. Toaster oven, taco and that's a beef taco mix. There's a pork taco mix. Um, Pang, my manager, number one girl in the shop and her nephew who's always helping out learning as he goes uh, Pang's making uh, I think a burrito right now are you? Yeah. yeah a beef burrito so a beef burrito she's very precise She's OCD, OCD cleaning. As you can see, the shop's extremely clean. You know, she's always cleaning, always cleaning. Got a spare, that was our original cook uh, griller over there, but uh, I got a better one. You know, just have a bit of a clean. I've got to do the, um, I've got to do the uh, treatment on there with salt and baking soda and vinegar, which uh, lifts all that black off. But at the moment, it's sealed up. It's pretty good. So here we go, making a beef burrito. This is the taco mix we're using the burritos. You can have a taco or a burrito. It's not too hot, it is spicy. Put a little bit more in because one of our favorite customers out here. Huh? Oh, with the uh, barbecue sauce. Mmm. Mmm. She loves her work, Pang. Does a great job. Deep fry for the fries. Chips, fries, whatever you like to call them. Little coffee machine. We do a fair bit of coffee. Everything sealed up with away. Taco shells there. She's got everything sorted. Something finished here, I think. Oh, the um, tomato sauce, is it? Finished? What else? I don't know. I've got to just checking on what I've, what shopping I've got to do. She's got games going on here for when she's not busy. <laughs> see the concentration. You can see this what this girl puts into making food. So there's one burrito going out. I think oh, it's got to get reheated up again in there. We have our um. 
our, aloe vera alcohol wipes and our register for customers. Got to do that here. We've got our um, you know, temperature gauge, human temperature gauge. Got our licenses over here for the restaurant and for alcohol. Soon to be renewed. Uh, we accept Bitcoin, we accept Ethereum as well, but unfortunately I haven't printed a new Ethereum uh, address yet. Yeah, so uh, some of our stock here. Tahini because I make my own hummus here. Some mustard, some barbecue sauce, some mayo, some French mustard, French's yellow mustard, uh, you name it, coffee, hot chocolate. This is gonna get sold, this thing I've got here. It's uh, a gas cooker. That's gonna go, that's gonna get sold, that's stuff there. It's going to get taken away. I'm getting an awning put out the back here. Soon I'm getting an awning put out the back here and this will be like a garden area with uh, a couple more tables and chairs. I've got to get rid of that old concrete thing. It's a piece of crap. And this is the other side of uh, bus station road. This week I had to redo my drainage system from the grease trap the guys that did it previously didn't uh, put the pipe deep enough and uh, cars running over it all the time of course split the pipe and it was leaking all over the road here so we put it in deeper cemented across the top of it and I put this uh, speed bump in that I bought at uh, Tai Watsadu which is uh, you know, the Australian equivalent to, you know, the Thai equivalent of Bunnings in Australia. So yeah, this is the other side of Bus Station Road. All the bars are here. The lounge is just up there, which I did in my last video, I think. The red line, that's just changed hands. This one's open today. Booty Bar. But uh, they've been closed for a while. I think they might have had COVID. I'm not sure, not 100% sure. It's run rampant here. Uh, the last uh, couple of weeks, almost everyone in the street has had someone with COVID. Mind you, none of them got sick. They all tested positive and had cold-like symptoms for a couple of days and then tested negative and everyone's okay now. This is the Cha Am Perfect House Hotel, which I did in the last video, right opposite. Get a lot of customers from there. Even though Rob lives in Bangkok, he's become a regular customer here. Every time he comes down from, uh, oh, what is it now? Krung Tep, Krung Tep Nakon Maha Nakon. I never did change it. Yeah. It turned out to be a big misunderstanding. Yeah. One of many. So here we are, the Billabong, Aussie Diner. Give you a look at the menu. Okay, so there's the menu. Tacos, hot dogs and chili dogs, burrito, of course the burgers, pork burgers, cheese and uh, we also do all day breakfast. When it, my daughter Vera came up with a design for this menu, I think she did an absolutely fantastic job. All day breakfast. And fortunately, everyone here in this bus station road, this walking street, this entertainment zone, uh, supports each other. So I have menus in every bar and I get a lot of orders from the bars, usually early evenings and sometimes late evenings, although we close at nine. Okay, so there you have it. The Billabong Aussie Diner with some very, very happy customers. Having a food, having a food and a couple of beers. There we have it. Ciao for now.